G'day and welcome back to Jazz Beer Reviews. A little short warning about this, that there was a storm coming to the swinging axe, and, and it is. Swimmer Grog sent this to me in the beer mail. I sent two bowls, actually. of uh, very kindly sent it to me. The uh, Hurricane High Gravity, this big 40-ounce strong lager malt liquor is 8.1% uh, ABV. And it says on here, it's a Category 5. It's be bold, be smooth, be powerful. Yep, that's a lot of beer. Right, let's uh, crack it open. Big thanks to Swill once again. Now, Swill and Grog has reviewed this twice. He reviewed this uh, last year. And he also reviewed it a few years back with um, Jay from Louisiana Beer Reviews when uh, he... When Swillingrog was visiting Louisiana, he caught up with Jay and uh, they reviewed this in the can. So, uh, yeah, as you can see the photos there. Right. What do we got? And I'd just like to say, before I start drinking this, uh, I have prepped for the session. Uh, for breakfast, I had three eggs, um, two pieces of toast, um, both smothered in uh, baked beans, a lot of fire, but a lot of carbs. Mowed the lawn, then just smashed back for lunch to sausage uh, sizzles, uh, which is just a sausage, if you're not from Australia, you know, a piece of bread, butter, and tomato sauce, or whatever you want. Else on it, onions if you want. So I prepped for the session because I'm going to need it. It's a big beer. Righto. What have we got? Very clear, uh, small bubbles rushing up. We've got yeah, one finger of head. Now, this is made by Anheuser Busch. Anheuser Busch made the King Cobra that I reviewed last week. And uh, actually, Jay from the Louisiana Beer Reviews commented saying that they, uh, with the King Cobra, they use rice and they use corn. Anheuser Busch also made Budweiser, with Budweiser uses rice. So, this could also be rice and corn. I'm not too sure. Could be a combination. But King Cobra did have that rice note to it. It's kind of, to me, it's very Asian lagerish. Anyway, yeah, it's a clear, clear, uh, like golden color aroma. It's, it smells, it's got a real rich um, malt liquor aroma to it. I've had a few other years now that um, Swill and Grog has donated nearly every malt liquor to this channel over years, and it's been a fair bit. And they're all got that rich aroma to it. Um, Old English, for example. Uh, Country Club, Colt 45, I'm pretty sure that's one. I do have them there in the fridge. But uh, yeah. Anyway, let's get into it. Cheers is all, and a big cheers to uh, Swillingrog. Thanks, mate. Wow. Yeah, that is. A lot of body for a lager. To me, it has that kind of leftover twang from when you're using a lot of adjuncts in your beer. I've made, got the same effect with using cane sugar. It kind of leaves that little bit of sweetness left over. And it's like a slight syrupy or slight light candy kind of smell. Um, like a sugar. Even like a, a, a tinge of a sh carbonation drop they use. It's carbonation drops used in home brew, which is just pure, pure glucose and kind of flavour there. Uh, I heard Jay and uh, Swill talking about the um, bit of a banana note there. Just try and see if I can find it. Yeah, I'm getting that, maybe a, a little bit of tart to, to it as well, also a little bit of banana, just a slight tart. Finish is really dry, 8.1, that's finishing really dry. I'm, I'm feeling that alcohol a little bit. I think I'm detecting it there, I don't know if it's just because I know it's 8.1 or, yeah, I can taste it a little bit. It's very full bodied, it's definitely one not to, it's definitely not sessionable, uh, this one bottle. What time is it? Be after two here on Saturday. I'll um, just take my time through this the rest of the day. It's definitely not one to smash down. 
that's for sure. Like you see blokes on um, on YouTube, they uh, when they I think I spoke with the King Cobra, they they smash down the old skull of forty on camera. It's just crazy. Bit hard on the old liver, isn't it? <laughs> uh, I think, mean, yeah, I heard the boys talk about keep it cold, that's why I'm using a smaller glass. Um, I was going to use a pint before, I'll use a smaller one, then I can just keep cleaning them and keep, it, keep the beer nice and cold. Definitely get that, that warmth is there from the, the high ABV. It's definitely bold, it's uh, probably up there the strongest malt liquor that I have had. Have had. Like I said, price point, I've got no idea. It wouldn't be cheap though. I uh, will so we kindly donate to the channel. Uh, and it's the crazy thing, the thing, the crazy thing is, oh geez, the alcohol's saying here, is that uh, mold liquor's a dirt cheap in the States. Beers, it is getting a little bit dear, I see, and a lot of people aren't happy, but for the longest period of time, the alcohol beer's been pretty dirt cheap. Like this one is your corner store over there. Yeah, supermarket, um, you know, like you're not paying much for these for what it is. Around here in Australia, you're paying for the roof. So, what we touched on, it's got bold, it's definitely, Swill talks about it, bold. It definitely has got that uh, little bit of leftover adjunct sweetness, I feel. Malt flavour. And somewhat the grainy, grainy flavour, but it's it's not too bad. It's 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 all right. It's I probably enjoyed the King Cobra more because it's more drinkable. It's been six percent, which is a pretty good ABV. This is one definitely to probably take a little bit slower, and maybe two with this beer, just because I've never had this or anything this strong for a long time. Maybe this style and this strength. It's maybe easier yet I finish this and I get a little bit of a taste for it, develop a taste. But anyway, uh, a score for the uh, Hurricane, my gravity, 8.1% 8 8 .1 ABV. I'm happy to say it's a, a good malt liquor. Uh, it's definitely, uh, you nearly put it as, a, you got a strong, strong adjunct lager. It's only super strong, really, um, being at 8.1. It's getting up there where a lot of these uh, dessert stouts get to, and uh, a lot of the uh, Belgium, Belgium Trappist beers, which are totally different beers, don't get me wrong. So yeah, a good malt liquor, uh, definitely worth trying, and definitely, uh, for, for me anyway, uh, probably best to <laughs> just take your time with it. Don't, uh, I, wouldn't, I wouldn't encourage smashing it because uh, you might be in the horrors. So thanks for watching this episode of Jez Beer Reviews. Big thanks to Squill, great to try this and I'll uh, continue this the rest of the afternoon. No more beer reviews today, so <laughs> this one will take up all my uh, will take up all my drinking powers for the rest of the day. So uh, you all take care and I'll see you in the next one.